Just checking. Everything all right? Yep, two corpses, everything's fine. <laughs> That's a very, very interesting definition of fine. Hey everybody, my name is Nick. If you are new here, what's up? If you are not new here, welcome back. All right, you guys, so I am super stoked for today's video. And I'm stoked for a variety of reasons. Number one, I'm stoked because this is a movie that I realistically should have seen a long time ago, but I have not, obviously. But like most things, I just continued watching the same, you know, 10 movies over and over throughout my entire life. So I never got around to watching this. But also, this is a little bit of a special video. This is a gift for someone, if you will. So the movie that we are watching today is 1985's Clue. So I received so many requests to watch this movie after I watched, um, um, Oh, Death Becomes Her. So I knew that this was going to happen. This was going to happen on the channel eventually. But the reason that it is happening now, I have a very, very special friend. Not that kind of special, you nasty heathens. I know y'all are obsessed with, not like that. And April 8th, which is a week from when this video is coming out, is his birthday. That special person is David, or as many of you know him on YouTube as Zavid. David has been one of my biggest supporters and he has become one of my closest friends. And I will never forget when I first met David. I was doing the rounds at my local hospital as part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and I walk into this one room, and the sun is just gleaming off of his bald, shiny head, and we got to talking about horror movies, and here we are. Now we're really, really good friends. We have a red-headed child together, as you can see. All I ask for you is make sure that on April 8th, you go on his Twitter and his DMs, send him carrier pigeons if you want, but wish him a very, very happy birthday because he deserves it. All right, now enough about Caillou. Let's get back to the, the main topic of the video, shall we? I'm genuinely surprised that I have not seen this movie. I mean, I've played the game. I never won because I, I never win board games. Never. There was literally one time in my life that I almost won at a board game and all of a sudden at the last minute, it was Monopoly. And then all of a sudden at the last minute, I lost. And then as I'm in the car on the way home, my boyfriend at the time, he goes, oh, by the way, uh, the game was running a little bit long. So since I was banker, I started cheating so that we could end the game a little bit but that's neither here nor there. Like he, he got what was coming to him. But yeah, I know that Tim Curry is in this movie. I love Tim Curry, and this is a classic, and it's a murder mystery, which I love, so I'm really, really excited to get into this. If you think it was Professor Plum in the observatory with the lead pipe, then you should like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications for whenever I upload a new video. If you think it was Mrs. White in the kitchen with the ax. Tina! That was for you, David. Then you should follow me on social media. I have both Instagram and I have Twitter. And if you think it was Mrs. Peacock in the billiard room with the fireplace poker, then you should check out my Patreon. You'll get access to an exclusive catalog of full-length reactions that do not go on YouTube, an entire catalog of movies and TV shows, polls to help me pick what I watch next, full-length audio commentaries, and more cool stuff. All right, so I'm excited to get into this. I'm excited to laugh. Without further ado, let's get into Clue. Deborah Hill? Like Halloween Deborah Hill? <gasps> I love it already. I want a big, fancy, creepy mansion like this purely so that I could have gargoyles. You know, there's like other things that exude like wealth for people. Gargoyles? Mmm. I want one. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> that's so gross. I mean, I know that that's a thing that people do. I have a friend who feeds her dog like like a, like a raw food diet. I was over at her house the one time and she's like, oh yeah, I gotta feed my dog. And she pulls out of the fridge like a full on like liver. I thought I thought she had snapped. Like I thought it was over for her. I thought that, that, that was the end for me. But if I wasn't trying to keep the conversation going, then we would just be sitting here in an embarrassed silence. Are you afraid of silence, Mrs. Peacock? I am. I don't, I don't, I hate, I do not. I do not. I mean, there, it like depends. There's like certain kinds of silence that I'm okay with, but like if I'm driving, I cannot drive without music or talking on the phone or a movie playing. <laughs> Calm down. Not like vis visually watching a movie. I listen to movies. Or like at, at night when I'm sleeping, I have to have a box fan on. I cannot deal with silence. I cannot deal with silence. Nummy. 
Miss Maid over here, let me just tell you something. I, like, there's just something about a maid's outfit that I don't, I think I, oh my God, I don't know. If I was a female, I think that that would be all I would wear. You know who comes to my mind when I think of sexy maid in, uh, what was her name, Moira, in the first season of American Horror Story? <gasps> Oh my God, she was stunning. She was, oh my gosh. If it wasn't for the fact that like very early on in life, I made, you know, the conscious choice to become a homosexual, that I totally would be straight and totally go for a maid, 100%. No, that's right. I like that, I like that, <laughs> I like that. His job, he was an illusionist. But he never reappeared. Uh, he wasn't a very good illusionist. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> I like her. She might be my favorite so far. <laughs> Especially because that coat. And I'm a homosexual. Family! Naturally, I could hardly resist putting in an appearance. Wait, am I supposed to believe that he just had all of that in that suitcase? There's like seven different boxes in there. Oh my god. I enjoy getting presents from strange men. Unless it's crabs. A candlestick! It's a candlestick. A rope, a lead pipe. What is that? Uh, is that a wrench? I don't know what the f that is. That's a gun. Knife. The only way to avoid finding yourselves on the front pages is for one of you to kill Wadsworth. Now. Are they actually gonna kill him? I'm curious. I'm curious to see if it's like somebody's actually going to, like if he's actually going to die or if it's all gonna be like a big, like at the end, a big <laughs> like everybody stands up and nobody actually died moment. Nobody, look, there's no gunshot wound. Somebody tried to grab the gun from me in the dark and the gun went off. Oh wait, so they didn't kill Tim Curry? They killed the henchman guy? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Maybe he was poisoned. Ah! Well, if that was the case, we'll, we'll know in a couple seconds. <laughs> Here's hoping. <gasps> Where did, t wait, wait a minute. Where did Tim Curry go? Cause he was in the room when the lights went out. That's suspicious. The plot thickens. Because I am frightened, me too. I also drink the cognac. Oh, don't kill her. She's too fabulous to die. Don't kill her. Why did you invite us here to meet your late employer? Were you assisting him to blackmail us? Certainly not. Wait a minute. Plot twist again. It was Tim Curry that invited everybody, not the henchman guy. When my wife decided to end her life, she too was being blackmailed by this odious man who now lies dead before us. Damn. Oh, oh, more dark sided than I thought it was going to be. See, now that would be, that would happen to me. That would happen to me, 100%. This is why I can't go in public. I was a victim too, at least my wife was. She had friends who were socialists. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> well, to make a long story short, too late. <laughs> oh, I spit. <laughs> It's like you gotta, you gotta like really, really like stay alert because like uh, there's some of the jokes. They're like very, very quick. Who else is in the house? Only the cook. The cook. The cook. Oh yeah, the cook. The scary cook. Although to be fair, I'm still not convinced that that person is uh, the henchman guy, the the head guy. I, I'm still not convinced that he's actually dead. I feel like it's all a big ruse. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe not. I, oh God, I would be like the first one to die probably. Oh God damn it. If I was the killer, I would kill you next. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, Leon, that is not something you say. Learn how to stretch your fucking mouth. Y'all are standing here trying to figure out the, who just killed two people. Oh my God, oh, Leon, Leon. Husband should be like Kleenex, soft, strong, and disposable. You lure men to their deaths like a spider <laughs> with flies. Flies are where men are most vulnerable. Right. Oh my God, well, <laughs> you better work, bitch. <gasps> Look, what? what? The body's gone. Huh? And I, oh. Oh, thank God she's already dead. Um, is there a little girl's room in the hall? Oui, oui, madame. No, I just want to powder my nose thing. <laughs> dum dum. <laughs> what sort of pictures are they? They are my pictures and I like them back, please. No, I'm afraid there's something in them that concerns me too. Let me see. Is it homosexual pictures? Missionary boys? Helix? Fraternity X? Randy Blue? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't watch any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. He's attacking her! <laughs> I knew his ass wasn't dead. We're trying to find out who killed him and where and with what. Uh, I, I get it, I get it. The, the, the game, the game, the game. Can you see why I never won the game? <laughs> the dagger will go Felsa into her back. Tip her forward over the arm. They didn't have to do her like that. <laughs> My God, poor thing. Assuming that she's actually dead, I trust no one. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to disturb the whole household, but- Why does he look so familiar? 
I was wondering if I could use your phone. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Who is that? Who is that? That man looks really familiar. Later. Ha ha ha. You can't star in the Halloween franchise and escape me. That's the dentist. That's Graham. That's Graham. Ben Tramer. He, he examined Ben Tramer. Ha 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 ha. Oh, hell no. The second that, oh no, I'd be going through the window immediately. Where's the key? In my pocket. Not that key, the key to the cupboard with the weapons. Do you still wish me to throw it away? Yes! All that does is eliminate like two or three different weapons. I'm sure there's plenty more weapons in the house. Just checking. Everything all right? Yep, two corpses, everything's fine. <laughs> That's a very, very interesting definition of fine. Then there is someone else in this house. No, sorry, I said no meaning yes. No meaning yes? Look, I want a straight answer. Is there someone else or isn't there yes or no? No. No, there is or no, there is. What the f? Let him stay locked up for another half an hour. The police will be here by then, and there are two dead bodies. You know what I wonder? I wonder if, because they keep mentioning how, like how long until the cops get there. I wonder if from the moment that they actually first say, oh, that it's this number of minutes until the cops gets there. I'd be curious to know if within the actual editing of the movie, if the exact time frame is when the cops eventually show up. Be curious to find that out. But it is dark upstairs, and I am frightened of the dark. Will anyone go with me? I will. I will. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the homosexual didn't want to go with her. It's you and me, honey. Bunch. I cannot look at him without thinking of Uncle Fester. Like, yes, I know he's had like a gazillion super iconic roles, Back to the Future and all that shit, but Uncle Fester for me, all day, every day. I'm her husband. Fester! Give me a kiss. Give me a 20. I wonder if this is like an actual house you can go to, because this is stunning. I mean, it's a lot of wood. That's what she said. <laughs> but like, I don't know, it's gorgeous. It's like my dream. I just want to be able to explore the world and be able to go into castles and like big mansions and stuff like that. Ah, oh, how awesome does that sound? Do you want to go up in front of me? Absolutely no. <laughs> exactly, I wouldn't go up there. You must be out of your mind. You can go first. No, 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 I insist. No, I insist. Well, what are you afraid of? A fate worse than death? No, just death. Isn't that enough? <laughs> right. <laughs> look at her boobs. Like, look at her boobs. Literally the definition of serving boobs. It's behind one of those curtains. You look. This this woman, I don't know the actress's actual name. If Susan Sarandon had a doppelganger, it would be her. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Look at uh, 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 She looks just like Susan Sarandon. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, pause, 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 pause. Hold on, hold on. I gotta rewind. I gotta rewind. I wanna show you something. Okay, so looking at that, one thing that it reminds me, you can tell how like the glass, the broken glass, and then the two panes of glass around it, they're not clear like the rest of them. It's because that's like fake glass that you can break. And the only reason I know that is because in the original Halloween, when Michael chases Lori through the Wallace house and uh, he's got the rake pushed up against the door so she can't get out, in the shot right before she breaks the glass, you can see it's the same thing. There's like the different, the, p the panes of glass are not as clear as the other one because that's the fake glass. That's just the random shit that goes on in my head. I'm a little nervous. I'm in this big house and I How dope would that be? To have all these cool like hidden rooms and like rooms behind bookshelves and, and fireplaces that swivel. That's dope. One of them is my old boss from- Oh no, they killed him. That's rough. You just show up for help and you get God. Isn't that just the luck? <laughs> he represents me <laughs> because he's always tripping and falling into shit. I relate to that a lot. Where's the key? The key's gone! Never mind about the key! Unlock the door! I can't unlock the door without the key! Never mind the key! Unlock the door! <laughs> I'm just gonna have to break it down! Please. Hell no, you ain't breaking down that door. That, this old ass house with that thick ass wood? Hell no. We're doing our best! Help! Wait a minute, is it the maid? Because she ran into the other room and grabbed the gun that was locked away, but she like ran in there as if it wasn't locked. Like, how would she know that? It's not the same gun. From the cupboard. But it was locked. No, it was unlocked. Unlocked. But yes. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Y'all can't fool me. Cause you have killer instincts. You know, <laughs> you know this is the killer. 
How did you know it was unlocked? How did you know that you could get at the gun? I didn't. I think I would break it open, but... I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm, I am suspicious. Maybe that's how... Uh, it's the boobs. That's how she's, like, trying to confuse everybody. And nobody's paying attention to her because they're paying attention to her rat. <gasps> did the driver come in here for any help by any chance? No. No, no, no. no. Well, actually, yes. There seemed to be some kind of disagreement. It's because there's a dead body inside. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. What now? How many keys does Tim Curry have? Like he had the key to the cabinet that he threw, and then he was supposed to have a key to the other room that they found the motorist guy in, and then he mysteriously lost that, and then he randomly has another key for another room? Maybe Tim Curry is the killer. And why are you receiving phone calls from J. Edgar Hoover? J. Edgar Hoover? That's right! J. Edgar Hoover? The vacuum cleaner guy? Fucking idiot. No, that can't be right. Oh, I just feel like I said something really dumb. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Ew, ew, that means that she's like making out with a corpse. Oh, Miss White. Oh god. <laughs> King idiots. They're so tough. <laughs> <laughs> this man's drunk. Dead drunk. Dead right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, there's nothing illegal about any of this. Are you sure? Of course, this is America. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ahead of its time. Ahead of its time. <laughs> Ooh. Me! It's me! Oh my gosh. Oh! Look! I can't believe it. I wonder where this one goes. Yeah, the last fucking thing that I would do when there's like an active murderer running around is going into the, like, the meat freezer with the big meat hooks. Hell no, bitch. I saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I do not f with meat hooks. No, thank you. Oh no. Well, who's gonna die now? Assuming that they're all actually dead and this all just isn't a big prank. Like a young Ashton Kutcher could pop out at any moment. <gasps> it's you! Oh no, don't kill her. Oh. Hello? Killed the maid and the cop. Yeah, double homicide. I am your singing telegram. <laughs> the way none of them even seem phased at this point. They're like, okay, another one bites the dust, I guess. Oh, she passed away? Oh, all right. Two murders. Three murders. They had to have heard the gunshot, right? Neither of them shot. I thought I heard a gun. I heard it. Oh, oh, okay. That poor woman <laughs> shows up to do her job and gets gone. I was in the hole. I know, because I was there. And you all open your presents. The body switch out the lights. If someone dies right now, if someone dies right now. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, grand. Oh my God, Fucking idiot. I was like, seriously? <laughs> Mr. Green. Ah. Damn. God, they just keep smacking the shit out of her. Maybe one of us was murdering the cook. Who wasn't here with us? Do you know? But wasn't there, I feel like, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that there was a, there was one point, I mean, I'll figure it out during editing, but I fairly, I'm fairly certain that there was one point in which I was like, where is Tim Curry? Because he was not there. <gasps> is Tim Curry the killer? So you could be the murderer. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. If I was the murderer, why would I reveal to you how I did it? Uh, uh, Billy Loomis, uh, red herring, red herring. So, whoever knew that the cook was involved killed her? Yes. Oh, I'm him, I'm him, I'm him. Oh no, I'm Leon. <laughs> and you also knew her, sir. We've already established that you were one of Miss Scarlett's clients. That's why you were so desperate to get your hands on those negatives. Photographs of you and Yvette. I thought he was a homosexual. Right? Yeah. I don't know. The murderer came out of the secret panel, picked up the candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mr. Body Porter decided to study into the hall looking for an escape. The murderer crept up behind I feel like this must have been so much fun to film. Like, I just feel like Tim Curry was having so much fun doing this. Just absolutely fucking manic. <laughs> what is your top secret job, Colonel? I can tell you. He's working on the secret of the next- Oh my god, look how short his tie is. How did you know that? Like, it's- uh, Oh, that should have been my clue that he wasn't actually a homosexual. Because mm, a homosexual would not be walking around with a tie like that. The cop was from Washington. He was on my payroll. I bribed him once a week so I could carry on with business. Damn, they're all skeevy. All of them. All of them. I think the point of all of this is that they all deserve death. Well, let's put it in the study with the others. So. Hateful. Hateful, hateful, hateful. Just hateful. Hateful, hateful. Oh my god! Sorry, didn't mean to frighten you. You're a bit late for that! Hate when he does that. What was that? Why did she scream like that? <laughs> she was in the billiard room listening to our conversation. She heard the gunshot. She thought he was dead. And while we all examined the bullet hole, she crept into the study. So it was her? I mean, technically they never checked for a pulse. They walked in and saw her dead on the on the, the billiard table and then just walked away. So maybe she... <gasps> Boobs is the mastermind. Yes! Who? 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 It was easy for you here on the ground floor. Then in the dark, you've got the lead pipe and the rope. Strangled Yvette. Oh wait, so it wasn't the maid? Oh, see, I can't even guess anymore. I, this, this movie, provided that it does actually follow logic, I would, I, there's no way, there's no way. I am not, I, I would, I would lose, I would lose. I would lose just like I, oh my God, just like I lost the board game. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. Brilliantly worked out, Wadsworth. I can. Yep, I had no, no idea, no idea, no idea. Oh. I don't think they know my real business. My business is secrets. That's why her hair is so big. I wonder if this is like, cause I, the only thing that I do know about this movie is that like there's multiple endings or something. I think like back in the day when it was sent to theaters, like different theaters got different endings. So I'm curious what the other endings were, who the other killers were and why they went with this ending as like the home video release ending. That's not six. One plus two plus two plus one. Uh-uh. There was only one shot that got the chandelier. That's one plus two plus one plus one. Even if you were right, that would be one plus one plus two plus one, not one plus two plus one plus one. We don't need to talk about it, all right? We don't need to talk about it. I'm only a guest. Why, why did they all run in like the, the drama? <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh. Wait, that's how it could have happened. But how about this? What? No, communism was just a red herring. Mrs. Peacock did it all. There's no proof. The gun is missing. Wait a minute. Is this one of the other alternate endings? I'm so conf I am confused. I am confusion. Now, I suggest that we stack the bodies in the cellar, lock it, Leave quietly one at a time. Wait a minute. Wait, Tim Curry's in on it too? Is this, which ending is this? Is there more endings? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> How did you know my name? Kingdom of Heaven is at hand. Okay, take her away. Oh, I keep forgetting that that's a cop. <laughs> I keep thinking that it's still a Bible thumper. I have, like the Mantis, we always get our man. Mrs. Peacock was a man? <laughs> But here's what really happened. Like really though? Like actually happened? I don't trust, I don't trust. I have no trust for anything at this point. He was the missing person in the kitchen! If that's when the cook was killed, how did he do it? I didn't! You don't expect us to believe that, do you? You killed the cook. Okay, so assuming that this is actually, actually what happened, we're supposed to believe that there's multiple killers. Each person that died was killed by a different person. I hated her so much. It, it, the, f it, flame, flames, flames on the side of my face. <laughs> ah, I recognize that. I recognize that. The gun is missing. Whoever's got the gun shot the girl. I shot her. Okay, yeah, see, at this point, now, in hindsight, watching this movie, each time that I've basically guessed every single character at this point, I was correct, because they're all murderers. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, yes, absolutely. You're Mr. Body. No, that's Pennywise. 
Why should the police come? Nobody's called them. You mean, oh my god, of course! I don't... <laughs> the, way, the way she delivered that line. <laughs> oh, good shot, Green. Very good. Is he actually dead? Are you a cop? No, I'm a plant. A plant? I thought men like you were usually called a fruit. Very funny. Oh my God, big Tom Tom. I'm a big Tom Tom. I don't know why. Oh my God, I kept getting him and Leon confused. We know. Because Leon was gay and Roseanne. Oh, it's late. It's late, y'all. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that completes Clue. Yeah, I lost. I lost the board game and I lost the movie. No idea. I had no idea who the killer was. I got multiple characters confused. <laughs> was the movie good? Yes. I want to rewatch that again so I can try to see if it's easier for me to figure out a second time. I will say that it was a little bit hard to kind of keep up with at certain points because everybody was like running around, very, very manic. But putting aside the actual murder mystery element of it, that shit was fun. Funny. There was a lot of things, a lot, like a lot of one-liners and jokes that I've heard before that I didn't realize came from this movie. That was really, really interesting to hear. But all in all, this was a fun time. I'm, like I said, I'm excited to watch this again. Let me know what you guys thought about Clue down in the comments, and I will see you next week.